What's up everybody, Holiday Doc here, and uh, this is a video response to Woody's Gamertag and his latest video about, you know, getting older. You know, this is a very interesting topic that kind of sparked my interest last minute. You know, I was just about to go to bed and check my subscriptions and uh, this video came up and I listened to it and it was intriguing and intelligent and it was a great listen. And, um, you know, I'm kind of doing this video response to give my take on things and my take on getting older in the gaming world. You know, being 25 myself in the competitive scene is, is decently older. There's not really a lot of plus 20 guys that are heavily into the competitive scene or, you know, have, have at least, you know, made a name for themselves. And uh, a lot of people are probably watching right now, you know, um, from my channel watching and be like, you know, what are you doing with a LMG? Well, just bear with me and just listen, listen to what I have to say because, you know, there's some interesting points that I don't really get to bring up because my channel is mostly about, you know, strategy, strats, and, and the competitive side of gaming and Call of Duty. Um, let's, let's bring it back to where I got started, you know, coming from SOCOM. SOCOM was my first major multiplayer console shooter and uh, SOCOM 1 was my first game getting the PS2 getting the online broadband for it was it was an eye-opener you know PS2 really revolutionized the way consoles look at shooters and look at multiplayer and um, I can really say I'm glad I got into that being a big athletic guy in high school being into the competition side of things you know picking up my first shooter Right off the start, I was interested in the competitive side of things. A few people from my high school had played on SOCOM battles and you know, <clears throat> were fairly decently placed. And uh, I wasn't very good to start with, just like anybody. You know, you get into a new game. First time I really picked up a controller and tried shooting. Before that, it was PC gaming. And, uh, you know, getting started as a new guy in the competitive realm was fa fairly difficult. You're not going to just jump in there and be the best. And that kind of plays off what I want to talk about. As I get older, and as I start getting heavily, more heavily into the competitive side of things, meeting new people, talking to new gamers, stuff like that, I really felt like a, the gaming world is on a decline for maturity and sportsmanship. As people get older, uh, it's it seems like the new guys coming in the younger crowd are less about sportsmanship and more about simply getting the win and shit talking I don't know what it is but when I go back and I think of, of myself when I was 16 playing SOCOM I don't ever remember a game I played in where the other team ever disputed the win ever cheated against us or had you know completely negative things to say throughout the whole match it was always, you know, good game. Thanks for the match. See you guys next time. Or good luck in the ladder. Uh, hope you guys do well. Those were the, the standard finishers for any sort of match. Coming in, everybody was a tight-knit group. You know, there wasn't a lot of teams on SOCOM Battles that were, you know, consistently playing. Everybody kind of knew each other. It was a tight-knit group. And I, I understand communities grow, but with growth shouldn't maturity play a part in it it seems like the more I get involved and the more I'm a part of the Xbox community the less I feel that the community is actually growing as a whole and in fact on a downward spiral you know there's more cheaters than ever there's more immaturity and and just blatant shit talking than ever and you can't even go into a competitive game now without having to almost mute the other team because of, of the constant ramblings between each other in the match itself. And, you know, that's kind of not what I'm about. You know, I try my hardest, you know, as much as it, you, you can't say you're perfect, but you're definitely, you want to, as a, as a team, as an organization, the new breed, we've been out there for a long time. Eight years I've been, you know, sporting the new breed on various different games, whether it's Call of Duty, SOCOM, and, uh, you know, I've always tried to strive for that, for that lasting mark, you know. What is, you know, Holiday Doc, myself, 
what kind of uh, a view are people going to look at me when they go to say, hey, you know, I seen that holiday doc in a game. Do you, do I want to be known as the guy who talks shit all the time or, you know, the guy who's like a helping hand? Getting older, you kind of think about that a lot more. You know, you think about the future and what you're trying to do for myself. You know, I'm thinking about YouTube. I'm thinking about my podcast on iTunes and, you know, building on that and going from there. Networking myself. You can't network yourself and uh, be known for complete ignorance or you know not known for anything good so many top teams out there um, are great players but horrible people it seems you know because you only see one side of them you see the Xbox the, the mic chatting stuff like that it's it's never great a lot of teams you know have a, a strict policy when it comes to it but not very many of their members follow follow suit you'll get one or two rogue guys that kind of ruin the name for everybody else. As, uh, you know, my teammates and stuff like that, we're all fairly older. Well, not fairly old, but, you know, we're all in our 20s now for the most part. And uh, I wonder, as gaming progresses, will it get worse? Or do you think Xbox Live has some sort of hope <laughs> for for maturity and as gamers get older and stuff like that it's it's interesting to see you know the upward spiral of older gamers as you know um i've been playing with the old timers clan lately they've been trying to get into the competitive scene and uh i'm sure as an older group of guys they're coming in and i know i've already heard them talk about having to completely just mute the other team because of the constant, you know, insults, the racism jokes, everything is just ridiculous. But uh, that's kind of my take on things. If you know me, I don't usually do these types of videos very often, maybe once or twice before, but that's, uh, it really sparked me to want to give my take on it, talk about where my roots came from and where I'm going with my competitiveness, my gaming as an older player. Uh, most people assume that gaming is 12 to 17. Once you're 18, you should put the games down. But, you know, it's a healthy hobby and it's a lot of fun, especially as a family guy as well. You know, you can't be out partying like the kids want to play off like they do all the time. And, you know, you shouldn't be gaming. You should be out you know, partying, but, you know, I get out, I do lots of other things, and gaming is just uh, a way to express my creative side, video making, podcasting, stuff like that. Hope you enjoyed my ramble. Um, this one was a little bit less about the gameplay, a little more about what I had to say. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Holiday Doc, and I'm out.